Yes, the previous recording um, followed on me falling asleep after the recordings before that and uh, had a very vivid dream. Um, oh, I was with my second wife and uh, things were good between us and um, uh, I don't know, somewhere I on the wall of the room we were in, I saw this mass of, you know, this, this plague of insects, uh, tiny things, uh, an area of about a meter across, and ah, oh, how do you get rid of them without hurting them? But you don't want them in your home. And then at another point, I was feeling. Uh, um, amorous towards my second wife, but I was aware that somewhere, hang on, this is adultery now, she's married to someone else. And I was in confusion and perplexity. And then I said to her something like, I don't remember your voice being like this. And somehow she took offence and sort of went out of the room and our son, who is an adult in the dream, you know, as he is now about 22, was aware that dad, of dad's problems of living, or was aware of what was going on and I don't mean he said anything in the dream. And I don't know whether it was in the dream or after I woke up, but aware of the great sorrows that come from change and being misunderstood, of course. You know, I'd offended her uh, somehow. She went out of the room and, of course, it was not my intention to offend. And, you know, a relationship was broken by an unfortunate remark or awareness. And so I, on waking from the dream, was perplexed. Was, you know, knew that it was significant, if you like, something God's telling me, showing me. But, but what is it exactly? And so, I put my mind to the last recording. So, just to say um, how it came about. Um, and I'm quite happy about the dream now. Not, uh, not disturbed by it, you know. I feel I've got it in uh, perspective that um, uh, it had a high purpose uh, of God um, revealing something to me uh, the which I have endeavoured to put in the last recording. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So don't ignore dilemmas puzzlements, things that go wrong. But on the contrary, focus on them. Take it to God in your way. My way is to um, launch onto a sermon about such, isn't it? <laughs> Which I record. Uh, because, well, it's not only a blessing to me then as it unravels, but maybe a blessing to others. And that's just wonderful if it is, isn't it? Thank you, Heavenly Father. So do that. Um, don't run from things that puzzle you and uh, play on the mind, but take it to God in your way. Uh, perhaps you just talk it through with God in prayer. Um, 
perhaps you talk it through with uh, someone you trust very much and has been enlightening on things in the past. Well, that seems good too. Um, but give it the significance that I feel God is prompting you to uh, to do so. Um, because it's leaving you puzzled and perplexed and concerned. Um, hmm. Thank you, Heavenly Father.